Ben here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of a new software launching called Advisor 2.0. And uh, if you know the first version of Advisor, well, it was a pretty cool concept where you could search uh, and spy on uh, desktop ads that your competition was running or, you know, any successful business in your niche was running. And what that would allow you to do is, you know, see their ad and uh, learn what they're doing to get results so that you could replicate it for yourself for your own business. And that way that would save you, you know, potentially hundreds or maybe even thousands of dollars for trying to split test ads uh, and go the long race, the long route, so to speak, to figure out what's working where you can just kind of skip ahead and see what your competition is doing and spy on their top performing ads. And you could, it had a lot of uh, cool things where you could see how long the ad was running. So obviously it was, if it was running for like a month or so, uh, that's obviously something that's making the money or they wouldn't keep running it. Um, but on the first version, uh, you were kind of just limited to the uh, newsfeed ads and they're just starting their database. So there, so for a lot of niches, there wasn't any ads at all. So it was a really good concept, um, but it was, you know, it was the first version and it needs some improvement. So uh, the creator came to me and said that uh, they have the new 2.0 version and they put a whole year's worth of effort into making it even better. And uh, so I was interested in, in diving in and checking it out. So I'm going to go through the new 2.0 version because there's a lot of changes made. And, uh, and then I'm going to be giving, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on you know how effective this tool is, and uh, you know my results from using it and things like that. And basically, what it is is it's divided into uh, several sections here, and it's a cloud-based software. So all you have to do is uh, log in to your account online. You don't need to download anything or uh, connect your Facebook account. Even you don't even need to do that. And uh, all you have to do to make it work is first go to the search ads tab. And this tab here is going to search uh, newsfeed ads, right column ads, newsfeed mobile ads, or uh, each of these specifically, or all of them all together. And then you just type in your keywords. So for example, if you're in the paleo diet niche, you would type in something like paleo. Then you hit search, and it's gonna go out there and find uh, different performing ads uh, centered around the keyword paleo. All right, so it found them. And also what you can do is you can sort by different industries, you can sort by emoticons now uh, to see like, what kind of uh, ads are generating like likes, which ones are making people angry. Uh, you can search by just male or female. If you know you're going to be targeting females for your business, you can search just by ads that target females too. You can search uh, by you know, just about every major country now. You can even search by buttons, like ones that are trying to get you to shop, ones that are a uh, download or like an event. And then even more powerful is you can search and filter out by age range too now. So right now we have it on 13 to 65. Um, if you know that you um, want to just try to find the most uh, engaging ads in your business, like ones that are a 10, and say that your ads are only getting like a 3, but you want to figure out you know what should you do to get an ad that has a 10 score. So you can obviously save way more money and start driving traffic to build your list. You can do that too. And then when you come down here, you're going to see all the different ads that it found. So here's one um, from someone called the Paleo Secret. We can check out, these are the actual number of hearts and you know faces, emoticons, and likes, and the comments it got. We can click and see this on Facebook. And also if you uh, click it here, it's gonna bring up more information about this ad. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you their advertising URL they're using, um, what type of ad this was. So in this case, um, this is a news feed ad placement. Um, you can see their fan page and you can see something uh, what type of targeting they're using like if they're doing a retargeting just to their list if they're just targeting fan pages their ad rank uh, how long it's been running how many days um and then you can also see even more detailed targeting so uh, in this case that they were uh, they wanted to reach people aged 26 to 64 who lived uh recently who were recently in the united states uh, so that's interesting and then if we come down here uh, if they can collect some of this additional information, uh, for example, the age, we can see that they wanted to target um, 35 to 50 year olds for the gender is male, um, country just the United States, and then they've spent $35,000 on that ad. So, you know, that's something, obviously this is something that is working. And maybe we can implement that in our own business or take ideas from it um, instead of just trying to split test and start from the ground up. Then what you can do here is, um, if you want to search video ads now, so those were desktop, newsfeed, and mobile. But now what they can do in Advisor 2.0 is also search video ads because that's a new big thing on Facebook. And just like before, just type in a keyword here. Press search. And we can like click this here. 
and we can actually even watch their ad uh, to see their uh, their information too. And then we click here to view the different stats for it too. Now also they have Instagram ads. Okay, so then we can go through here and check out uh, different information regarding Instagram ads as too, like number of likes, uh, more information about it, uh, who is advertising, uh, and things like that. Now also we have something called favorite ads. And say we find an ad that we like uh, for, inf for uh, inspiration, what we can do is add it to our favorites. If we go here, uh, we can see here's that paleo secret ad that uh, we were checking out. And if we press that heart button, then it gets saved in our category here, favorite ads that we can use whenever we go to create our own ad. And we can save them uh, to, you know, so we don't forget what they wrote in their ad. Now also there's some more features here. Um, there's another interesting feature called follow. And what you can do here is enter any uh, page that you want, like a, a competitor, for example. So here's some pages that I've been trying out. Um, I typed in uh, Frank Kern, because that's someone who's been outspending me a lot in Facebook ads. And obviously that's not good for my business. So I wanna see you know, what is it that Frank is doing that I can copy him and learn, because he seems to obviously know his stuff with Facebook ads. And what it will do here is when you go to this follow ad section here, it will show you uh, all the ads that your competitor is using that you followed. And, if, and then you can see here uh, immediately uh, all the ads that Frank Kern in this case it, are, is running. And just like before, we can click on it and get more information. And you can see this is pretty interesting here how he's using like a lot of text. So that was something that I actually didn't even realize. I just had a few lines of text and then was thinking people would click off. But we can immediately see that Frank in this case is, is running ads with obviously a lot of success recently that um you know he's really going in depth about putting the whole sales copy right in the uh the text thing that he's creating and as far as the uh the pictures there's a lot of pictures of him there there's another one so you get the idea for that as well and then they also have a, a, a ad notification feature what this will do is whenever more ads uh, get added uh, new ones into the AdVisor database. What it will do is it will notify you. So say you're in the, like the pet or dog training business and you want to you know keep up with what your industry is doing and the different ads that your competitors are running so you know what to do to kind of outsmart them and get more clicks. So what you can do is enter pet or dog training, choose what type of ad you want, whether it's a video ad, news feed, mobile ad, right column ad, ad keyword, and then it will send you a notification whenever more ads are newly discovered and put into the system that you can go and then check out and potentially add to your uh, favorite ads and create ads based off those. Now, also there's something called the social ad spy tab. And then for this, what you do here is enter a keyword and then click search. And then you can filter this down. And what it's gonna do is just show you like some trending stories, for example, um, that people are talking about right now to help you run you know, more effective campaigns like t-shirt campaigns if you wanna make money from that, uh, campaigns that tap into what people are talking about now and uh, more than that. So that's uh, basically how the Advisor 2.0 works. Uh, as far as what I think of, about it, um, I think it's a really good tool, a lot better than what else is coming out there from, uh, especially from like JVZoo. Uh, this was a, a tool that I actually dove in and learned stuff from and improved my own ad. So I can actually say that I made money from this tool uh, because um, I've been trying to you know, get my cost down for Facebook advertising. It's definitely not easy to do because there's a lot of competition, but this is something that you can do to immediately spy on other people's ads. And uh, they went into a lot of detail here. So you can actually drill down by emoticons even, even by the buttons uh, and really target, uh, get some good ideas for your own business too. Uh, the only drawbacks I would say from the software is um, that uh, they, they have all, over a million ads in the database, but obviously, um, they don't have all the Facebook ads in the databases. They're growing and they said that they're updating it each time. It looks like they're actually putting effort into this software because it is on the 2.0 version and it's a lot better than the 1.0 version. But uh, again, maybe some ads might not show up for your niche if you're in something really odd. Maybe they just didn't add it quite at the time. I know for this uh, search ads, it's now up to over 100 or 600,000 ads are currently in the database and more being added each week, which is definitely a lot. You can definitely get some ideas to improve your campaign. Um, but then again, it's obviously it's not all the ads on Facebook that it's drawing from. 
So, um, and the other thing is maybe if you know you you just don't want to use Facebook advertising, you're not interested in it. Um, obviously, I think that you could learn some from the ads that are showing, especially and apply this to things like maybe Pinterest ads or YouTube or things like that. Um, but uh, again, maybe that's another reason why you wouldn't want to get it. So if uh, Advisor 2.0 looks like something that can help your business, then it's going live for a discount. It definitely uh, is a little bit underpriced, in my opinion, for something that it can do all this that I just showed you that you'll get in the front end. And if uh, you want to get it for that early discount, then make sure to get it during my link as soon as it launches, because I know that the guy who is involved with the launch and getting it out there, um, he didn't code it, but he's involved with the launch. He likes to raise the price really quickly for some reason. So he'll do like an early bird discount, but then he wants to immediately keep raising it and raising it. So definitely, uh, if you want to test this out and see how it can help your campaigns, then make sure to get it whenever it launches. Then you're also going to get all the bonuses that are shown on my bonus page. Uh, I really went into depth on this bonus to provide some uh, you know, relevant ones to really help you with advisor traffic and some and landing pages and things like that. So make sure to check those out as that's a, a very high value relevant bonus and hopefully better than um, the junk that other affiliates are just kind of throwing out there. Um, again, it goes live 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you want to check it out and learn more, make sure to do so whenever it goes live during that early bird time. And thanks for watching.